The Starter Knife and Fork In this lesson, we're going to look at the starter knife and fork. We'll be looking at their appearance and purpose, placement, where they go on the setting, and replacement cutlery. What to do if you don't have a starter knife or fork available. Let's start with appearance and purpose. The starter knife and fork are the perfect size and shape to enjoy your starter. Generally, the dishes served during the starter course are smaller and more delicate than the main course meal, and so the starter cutlery is also smaller and lighter in weight. Because of the size, the starter knife is also often used as a butter knife on the setting. Compare the starter knife and main course knife. Notice the size difference. This is because starter dishes generally don't require heavy cutting. This is not the case with the main course knife, which cuts through the heavier food that is usually served as a main course. Hang on. Did you notice anything wrong with this main course knife? It has a dirty smudge on the blade and should never be placed in front of a guest. Well done if you noticed this. Moving on. With the starter fork, the same principles apply as with the starter knife. The starter fork is smaller and more dainty than the main course fork, because the starter course is usually lighter. Now let's talk about where to place them on the setting. As guests progress through their dining experience, they will use their cutlery from the outside in. So where do you think the starter cutlery will go? The starter knife and fork are placed on the outside of the main course knife and fork, because a starter comes before a main course. As you know, most people are right-handed. Now if you think about eating with a knife and fork, it's the knife that does most of the work, moving back and forth. For this reason, it's most comfortable to place the knife on the right and the fork on the left. So a rule when setting cutlery is that when a knife is paired with a fork, as they are here, the knife will always go on the right hand side and the fork will be placed on the left hand side. There are two ways to place forks on the setting. The way which is most common is to place it with the prongs pointing upwards. However, at some establishments they might be placed with prongs pointing down, like this. Make sure you know what the standard is at your property. So. What about guests that we notice are left-handed then? How do you think we can adjust or tailor our service for them? If you notice that they switch their cutlery around, you can deliver their fork on the right and their knife on the left next time. Finally, let's finish off with replacement cutlery. Sometimes, certain cutlery items will not be available or perhaps there won't be enough in stock but you obviously still need to provide the guest with cutlery. In the case of not having starter cutlery, a main course knife and fork is the best replacement, since they are the closest in shape and size. But remember to be consistent. Don't give the guest a starter knife paired with a main course fork. So what did you learn in this lesson? Can you remember the three main points? the appearance and purpose of the starter cutlery, their placement, where they go on the setting, and replacements, what to do if you don't have a starter knife or fork available. Well done if you were able to remember all three. If not, go back and have another look at this lesson. Good luck!